So my name is Chloe Southern and I'm actually an assistant psychologist for the community team for learning disabilities over in Hull. My main role is actually within the Down syndrome and dementia clinic and I do assessments and implement interventions for people with early onset of dementia. So I'll be talking to you about the innovation work that we've been doing with uh, My Health Guide. That's my health guide. So the idea behind My Health Guide actually came from Matthew. Um, Matthew was born with profound multiple learning disabilities and often with his care, the information was often not in the right place at the right time when the care staff needed it and his treatment regimes were really quite complex for them to understand. So health professionals and his family created um, an iBook on his iPad um, and that included audio interviews about his care needs, video demonstrations from physios about his postural management plans and really important information about his life. But it's really not easy creating an iBook. So they took the idea to um, Maldaba, which is a software development company um, that specialises in apps. So they worked really closely with Humber NHS Trust to co-produce the app that's tailored for people with learning disabilities. I came into play about phase two when we did a trial of 200 um, service users utilising the app. So as champions went out, helped people set up the app on, their, on the tablet devices um, and showed them how to use it. So this trial was independently audited by University of Hull and the positive impact that they found actually secured the funding for a further 400 service users over the next um, three years. So now we have 10 champions covering each speci uh, specialty um, who have been trained by Maldaba. We support the professionals, the individuals with the learning disabilities and their families and carers in how to use the app. It's been used for so many different reasons and over the last two years we've seen diabetes monitoring and we've had um, people creating healthy eating plans. Urtees and physios tend to use the video tool um, to be able to create um, exercise regimes and postural management plans. The epilepsy service have found it really, really useful to actually record the seizures um, and actually use the video tool as well to record them to notice the subtle differences between seizures. And the speech and language therapy use it as a communication tool and psychology as a mood diary, just to name a few. So now I'll give you um, a bit of background about my health guide. I want to talk about two case studies through the Dementia and Down Syndrome Clinic. So this gentleman here, he's called Paul. He's 54 years old and he's got Down Syndrome and late stage dementia. Following a fall a couple of years ago, he um, ended up utilising a wheelchair full time. So staff now um, support him in most elements of his care. Um, in the last few months, we've begun to do some life story work on his My Health Guide app. So these are a few of the boxes that we started with. So the This Is Me box very much looks at how he needs supporting right now. It starts off with his childhood as well, working through all the places that he's lived, the day services he attends, and uh, stories to tell about his life and his likes and dislikes. So when we all got together, um, his sister literally bought all of the family photos. So we worked through all of them, taking pictures of pictures. Um, and then we took pictures of his belongings around his home and pictures of his pet symbols. Paul has now got Wi-Fi, so it's made life a lot easier to be able to download pictures to make it a lot more personal. So some of these images have now changed on his health app. So for Paul, knowing the, the past has really, really helped the future. Through the um, process, we were able to collect so many great stories about the incredible life that he's already had and continues to lead. So my health guide has captured all of these stories, the sayings and the phrases that Paul really loves to hear, which has helped the staff get to know him a lot better and increase the rapport with him. So just after um, a few visits of actually working on this app, um, his carer actually said that he feels like he's got to know Paul more in the last month of working on the My Health Guide than on the previous six months. And that's because on the first day, he was very much given a big file that's really quite clinical and he couldn't really get a picture of the individual. So where it's really important, obviously, to know someone's epilepsy plans and things like that, it's also important to know what YouTube clips that they might like to listen to as well for those day-to-day -day activities. His family, his sister Janet, she said it was absolutely fantastic. It's a great um, tool for new staff or agency staff um, as they struggle to even know what to talk to Paul about because he can't initiate that conversation. So just knowing his likes and his dislikes and things that he likes and his pets and things like that, they're able to really know where to start that conversation. 
So for Paul, actually, it was really interesting um, to find out what he can remember because he um, now has no verbal communication, only verbalizations. Um, it was quite interesting that when we showed him Morecambe and Wise clips um, on YouTube of things that he used to like when he was younger, he started actually acting out the gestures, which we didn't realize he remembered. So it was great to know that it was increasing his cognitive stimulation and that these things, knowing different things about him, has improved the quality of care that he receives. So then we have John. So John, he's 58 years old, and he is a gentleman with Down syndrome, and he's recently been diagnosed with the onset of dementia. So we've only been working on his app for probably the last, like, two, three weeks. And he's already made a really good start. So John is a really big fan of the soaps and really old TV programs like Brookside and Heartbeat. So this was the first box that he wanted to create, so that was fine. All of his pictures are slightly turned the wrong way, but we'll figure that one out. So that's the way he likes it. Um, so for John, we're actually using the health app as well um, as a communication tool between his home and his day service, and as well for compensatory um, strategies as his memory is starting to deteriorate. So. When um, John's at home, he really likes to make um, cups of tea for himself, for any guests and his carers. It's something that he's done um, growing up. It's kind of his, his responsibility. Um, but he's beginning to forget the sequence of the steps to actually making that cup of tea. Like forgetting to put the tea bag in, and making tea instead of coffee, and forgetting the milk. Um, it's quite frustrating for him because other staff have started to do that for him. So what they, they thought of when we used the My Health Guide was to actually use the video tool to record John making a cup of tea with the staff just talking over, just with the basic steps of making a cup of tea. Um, so now John watches this before he does that job, and that increases um, his independence, and he actually watches it afterwards as well, just to check that he's done it right, which is really sweet. So care staff have also noticed that if John is um, asked to go to another room to go get something, uh, he often comes back empty-handed or with something completely unrelated. Um, so staff have tried using the My Belongings box of just his watch and his bum bag that literally go everywhere with him, but he keeps losing. Um, so these items are in the box, and they'll open up the box and say, can you go get your watch before we go out? John can click that picture and actually make it a lot bigger and then he can wander off and go and find it. But what they found is when he gets to the room, he'll look and he'll think, I can't remember what I'm in here for. So then he's got the iPad there as a simple reminder of what he needs to find. Again, increasing his independence and reducing the amount of prompts that staff need to give him. Quite recently as well, he started attending the Singing for the Brain group by the Alzheimer's Society, uh, where he's been really welcomed. Um, the volunteer there actually came over just to introduce herself and she said, oh, where have you come from today? And he literally just looked at me so blank. Um, as I said, I don't, I don't know where I've come from, I can't remember. Um, so I gave him a little bit of a nudge and he had a look at his Where I've Lived box and he opened that up and not only did he tell the lady where he lives now, he told her every single address that he's ever lived in in the last, like, of all 50 years um, so they had a lovely conversation and it was really nice that I didn't have to be a part of that conversation he could have that independent from me so I didn't have to prompt him through that um, which was lovely so for some of our clients um, who we support they may never actually pick up the iPad itself they may rely solely on car carers and family who are using it on their behalf but for John, he's learned extra skills by using an iPad too. And considering that he's never had a smartphone or he's never had an iPad and he has early onset of dementia, he's already learned how to lock the screen, how to open and swipe up, to do the pattern of an L, uh, to open it up, to navigate the app and actually take pictures. He only actually needs support with the writing the words, but that's now an extra in-house activity. Because the app is based on boxes and adding words, pictures, um, audios and videos, individuals who've learned disabilities on their carers have picked it up really, really easily. We found that individuals who've learned disabilities will literally just give it a go and they don't care if they make any mistakes. Um, but health professionals and carers and families tend to be a little bit more fearful of the technology. <coughs> So we've been working with staff engagement sessions, peer support groups, coffee mornings, and additional ongoing training to try and support that. So this is just a snippet of what we've been doing within the Humber NHS Trust with my health guide. And I hope you can see just the amount of impact that it's having just on a few of the individuals that we support. <coughs> 